Hello, YouTubers. I just captured a really big moment where a cluster of eggs, this little guy right here. Let me see if I can. Right there. Um, just came out of the formation. I haven't been able to capture it yet. Usually I see them when they're walking around, but I have two big clusters of eggs here. There's another one right there, right there. Anyway, I'm changing out what you're seeing is a, a little plastic um, container. You've seen them um, at the pet store. They're pretty standard stuff, but I enclose it with a mesh bag because of fruit flies and stuff like that. So anyway, I use a mesh bag as the top and that way, all they have to do is develop. Look at all these. So, um, one of my favorite subscribers asked if, um, how do you transfer? How do you touch them? How do you move them around to get them off of whether it's the uh, bandage, whether it's the paper towel, you just do your best is all I can say. They are so tiny that sometimes I'll just wet my finger and just touch it and, and it'll, it'll come up right with my finger. See that? <laughs> They're pretty simple, but yeah, it, you'll get past the handling of the fragileness of it. You will, because you, you'll learn that you're not going to hurt them. And if you do hurt one, um, it's, it's very sad, I understand that. Um, but accidents happen, and sometimes they even get stuck in my nail accidentally. So it's not an exact science, but if you're breeding for yourself, which is what I do, I don't sell um, hornworms or anything like that. I just breed so that I can breed. If there's an emergency, I know how to breed. That's what it's all about for me, is just making sure that in a climate that is so up and down these days. I think it's just super important that we all know how to take care of our animals. Um, should there be a shortage um, or should there be something else going on? So um, that's really the only reason why I, I do this. And I am so grateful for each one of you that have subscribed. I really am grateful. I love the idea of passing knowledge on and uh, yeah. Clearly, I'm not in it for the money, um, but I do appreciate each one of you. So, thank you for subscribing. Um, someone else had asked recently how to handle uh, the Manduka moth when you're trying to feed it. I do have a video out on that, and um, if you just go through my videos, you'll see kind of which ones are focused on how to handle, how to feed, how to hand feed. Um, the manduka when it becomes a moth and it's again it's about taking your time it's about not just don't be afraid um, you're probably not going to hurt it and really it just comes down to practice so have a great day everyone I just wanted to show you what they look like when they literally come out of that cluster of eggs now, ironically, that was a big cluster. Normally, they dot them all over the place and they're not in a cluster, but I had one recently give me like a whole pile right on top of each other. So what I had to do was remove the whole thing that they were on um, and just set it inside the container. So keep, keep bringing your questions because um, it only, sometimes I get to your questions right away and other times it takes me a week, but I will always, always get back to you, I promise. So have a blessed day, everyone. Sorry about the bizarre video. That is actually a really clean container. I was just trying to show you something magnified. All right, have a great day. Happy horn warming. And uh, this is Pam signing out. If you like what you see, please show, share and um, good luck. Good luck. It's such a great journey. Talk to you soon. Bye.